crack on. Busy day, mate. It's not looking aesthetically pleasing at all with the letters missing. My brother Mahindra's here again. It's always good to see this guy on a Monday morning. Hey, it, it is hey. Not he's hit and miss, man, but he's here. here. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. Other than that, this is a calculator, and we're about to do some calculations. But anyway, can't talk too long. I am with the Commodore of Alan Rock. So, the YouTube is working. How come you don't love me then? <laughs> huh? Go on. Nadil, be careful. Because if that guy offers me good money for you, I'm going to sell you to him like a football player. I'm going to leave. Alhamdulillah. Welcome back to KBT Weekly episode 32. You join me in the dispatch area. Finally got this gun box back from Stanley. I had to get Stanley to redo it because I wasn't happy with it. So, But this is how it's come out. Always like to quality control things before they go out to the customers. It's looking good. It's looking a lot better than what it was. Off cuts, so we'll send that to the customer as he's paid for that fabric. So. That will hopefully get to the customer for tomorrow. Let's take this old label off. He don't need to see that, does he? So as you know, on Friday, I spoke about several deliveries that we had to do on Saturday. So Saturday morning, I left here around about uh, 10 o'clock. I made my way down to Kent, dropped off a load in Kent, and then I had to double back on myself into London, and again, double back on myself to Southampton. To be honest with you, it killed off my Saturday. By the time I got home, I was absolutely shattered. I got home around about 9 p.m. But yeah, that was my Saturday, and my Sunday, just spent at home, what I normally do anyway. Started off on a good note, so that can go out to the customer. We've also got the chair back, so if you just come with me. So this is the chair for Shafiq Rahman. This is gonna go to London. But yeah, martial arts come out very nice. We also got a set of four dining chairs here. So that will also get put in the pipeline and also get done. As you know, it's Monday morning, so it's always hectic. I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to go and reply to some emails over the weekend. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in a little while. Good morning, how are we say it's Monday. Today's Monday today, yes. Monday, Monday, Monday. Monday, KBT busy, as we expect. A lot of products today, which are going out. These are only less than a quarter of them. We've already filled up one bag, mainly just full of our uh, Alpha orders. We've got an international order here, which is our Dipro. Now this one is going to the Philippines. So you know internationals in it, they're never straightforward. But um, I ho I'm hoping this one won't be an issue because I think they've paid plenty of carriage. So other than that, yeah, let's crack on. Busy day, mate. Right, one thing I forgot to mention, came in this morning to find the letter B from the KBT on the front of the building and the letter N from the signage that we had just recently had the LEDs replaced on, on the floor. Now somebody's given my sign, Nazar, and whoever you are, Lanat on you. But just got the boys over, hopefully we can get it repaired. We had some crazy weather over the weekend as well, so bear in mind the signs have been up there for about 15 years, so it's not looking aesthetically pleasing at all with the letters missing. But yeah, it is what it is. These things happen. But as long as we get it rectified, there's no issue. Right, guys, something I haven't spoke about. We do offer purchase order facility for schools, colleges and universities. And the reason why that came to mind just now is because I just got off the phone to King Edward's Grammar School here in Birmingham. We have done a lot of business with them in the past. What they've actually purchased from us today is this fire retardant muslin. Now this is perfect for displays, drapery, uh, stage decor. They've got about 80 meters and they want us to cut it in strips of 13 meters for their project. So again, that's something that we can do for you as well as we have the benefit of the cutting machine. My brother Mahinder's here again. Yeah, still wearing his fresh turban. 
You get me? <laughs> what do you say? Where did you get shy, man? He's the most outspoken guy here when the camera's not here. As soon as the camera comes up, he gets shy. It's always good to see this guy on a Monday morning. Hey, it, it is hey. Not he's hit yet. and miss, man, but he's here. here. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. Right, guys, it's the end of the day. It's been a very productive day today, mashallah. Just about to switch the lights off and head home. It's Monday, we're always busy, always trying to catch up over the weekend. Complete polar opposite to Fridays, but I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another long day, inshallah. guys welcome back it's Tuesday you join me at my desk I'm just finishing up some paperwork as I am away from next week um, other than that this is a calculator and I'm about to do some calculations I am gonna go to London tomorrow we have got several deliveries to do the only reason why I'm gonna go myself is because I do need to go to my uncle's house and pick up a sofa from there he wants his sofa reupholstered so I've got two jobs to do uh, sorry I've got four jobs to do sorry i've got five jobs to do in london tomorrow first is the yellow sofa which we need to return red sofas we need to return now we may or may not be collecting the other half of the red sofas we'll see how that goes then i have the foam to drop off and then we have the calico four rolls of calico to drop off and then finally, the last job is to go and see my uncle and pick up his sofa because I have been promising for the last three weeks. I was supposed to go when I went to Southampton, but by the time I finished from the Kent to London and Southampton deliveries, it got very late. I got very tired, very frustrated, and all I wanted to do was go home. So we're going to complete them jobs tomorrow. I'm looking forward to next week. I'm not going to tell you just yet what's happening. I'll tell you next week. Right, not a problem. Leave me alone. i got work to do. Go and chat to the rest of the boys. What's going on? Oh, just a Spain order, yeah? So we're completing it. It's like three, four thousand worth of order. So I just get this guy to help me. I moved the house from one place. I got my own flat. So just fix that. And I was busy. But I'm still going to be busy till 21. But I want to make sure finish this order before I do my own things. So there's another guy who's going to help as well. So everything be alright. Because i never been Monday work, so today has been for me like first start, so I like it. I'm just like rushing, which order is done, which order is not done. So I asked the guys as well to help me. Well, I'm definitely not having no fries and I've got some water, keeping it healthy. Trying to lose a couple of stones. So good luck to me. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my meal. I'll speak to you in a bit. I'm absolutely shattered. I wish I could tell you more. But uh, tomorrow is another very, very long day. We've got an early start. We're going to load the van up. In fact, I'm going to go over towards Stanley's this evening, load the van up with the red sofas. Like I mentioned earlier, we've got several drops in London. So we're going to leave that here, and I'll catch you tomorrow. I'll be on the road most of the day tomorrow, so a lot of GoPro footage.
guys, welcome back. It's Wednesday and you joined me. I'm on the way to the office. Oh my God, look at the state of that car. What have you done to your car, woman? Oh my days. I'm not saying that in. There's a woman driving it, but I'm not saying that in. That's all I'm saying. Anyway. So we're just on the way to work. We've got a long day ahead of us. One thing that you do have to be as an employee of KBD is to be very adaptable. And versatile. Adapt to any <laughs> type of situation. Yeah, one minute you're bench pressing some rolls. some fabric rolls, and next minute you're on security Security's duties. Security. The next minute you're a van driver, and then the next minute you're paying bills. <laughs> right, guys. So we're just heading over to the storage yard. Skander's just got to pop out somewhere for an hour or two. So Nafis has got his cape on and he's taking control of the situation just as we like it. So he'll be covering him for the next hour or so. <laughs> Nafis, the, the people love your hat, you know. Oh, hey, listen, set up a GoFundMe page. I need a new hat. Come on. <laughs> Somebody commented, people. yeah. Someone set up a GoFundMe page for Nafis's new hat. Do it, man. Do it. I need a new hat. Hurry up, Skander. Right, I'll see you back at KBT. The lion's mane fur is back in stock. Nadil, come here quickly, show them this fabric. So this is a replica lion's mane fur fabric. It was out of stock for quite some time, so good news. What else have we got? We've got some dyes coming. I was supposed to be going to London today, but unfortunately, some stock hasn't turned up. But I've spoken to the customer, I've let them know. I've got to pop over to Stanley's unit later on pick up the red sulfurs, load them up in the van and have it ready for the morning. So I might do that later on tonight. Again, I was supposed to do that yesterday, but I got tied up with other things. All right, my buddy, not too bad. Um, just got back from the uh, storage yard and we pick up from where we left off. The week has been steady, but I think because of the delivery yesterday we went to do, it was back a bit. We've got quilting black four ounce going out today. Uh, micro fleece fabric also going out we've got some next day shipping on this marine wind up for next day shipping there's two rolls there what colors are they this looks like a light gray and a white we've got headliners black headliners going out so busy buddy quite a bit of everything going out today a few samples to go with this order new designs which we are going to be stocking now face has probably mentioned it or not dog poor quilting fabric there's the big road we just had it quilted now but anyway can't talk too long we're gonna pack all this and i thank you very much for your time earlier on in the week we showed you these chairs which were bought in by a customer they've somewhat been reupholstered but unfortunately midway our compressor machine which is just there the big yellow machine well it's not big but <coughs> love, love to enlighten on things then uh I'm going to make my way over to Screwfix and go and buy a new one because we need to get this job finished. So we're going to swap from the Sony to the GoPro. So I'm back from Screwfix and I've got a brand new compressor for the boys. Stanley? Yeah. You happy? I'm happy, yeah. I'm yeah? Happy. So we can finally get these chairs done. And these chairs here as well. We've got so much backlog at the moment, it's unreal. But it is 100% confirmed, tomorrow I will be going to London to drop off everything. And on a quick side note, this is the best adhesive you can buy and it's available to purchase from us here at Fabric UK. So, traditional spray adhesive, what tends to happen, especially if you're using it on headliners, over time, when the heat builds up within the car, the headliner starts to sag as the glue starts to give away. But this here, as you can see, as the name suggests, this is stable for temperatures up to 120 degrees. So you've got no worries whatsoever. We use this for all our jobs now going forward. So as you can see, Uncle Rafarouk has had to go back to old school ways and use a manual staple gun. I am with the Commodore of Alan Rock. <laughs> oh, thank you. Right, this is Uncle Ejaz, everybody. This is my dad's very, very good friend. Friend from a long time ago. Avengers. When I was a baby, yes. yes. I'm still a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a baby, but no, I'm just are. a bit of a bigger baby now. But anyway, That's this is right. Uncle Ejaz, right? So he's in the Asian ladies' fashion industry. So if you're ever up Alam Rock, Jazzy Colors, Silk Touch, Silk Touch yeah. make sure you go and see him. Thank you. And Uncle will always look after you. Avis, what are you up to, mate? 
We have just got our uh, delivery of all our dylons. So uh, I thought what about half an hour? All the carriers are gone, so I thought I'd stack up the shelf. So we're uh, prepared for tomorrow. So something that my dad always said to me, he goes, There's two things which you never know will come round the corner. One is death and two is a customer. So we've just had this job come in to reupholster the stadium chairs for a very, very well known football club so the youtube is working brother salim has just come in he's looking to replace the seat belts in his car he's currently got cream seat belts which we will quickly show you anyway so he's got a beautiful porsche mccann it's come with cream seat belts and as you can see got a bit of makeup on is that makeup he's, uh, his missus has been in the car and we're rubbing it up on her face and makeup's all come off but whatever it is so he's decided to go for a black seat belt this time so we've got them cut. So these are all five seat belts, cut them back. There's about four meters on them. Hopefully he's gonna go and get that done from somebody he's found. So as you know, guys, we do sell seat belts in about a range of 20 different colors. So if you are interested in Salim is doing to his car, do get in touch. We do offer the service here as well. So it's always good to see somebody who comes in off the back of the channel. I really do appreciate all the custom and all the support. So mashallah, the sign has also been fixed. Good to see. Well, we're on the late shift again tonight. Got a man like Cam with me. We're just about to jump into the van and then we're going to head over towards Stanley's, pick up the sofas as we got early start in the morning. We're heading straight to London. Man like Cam's here as well. Jeez. What are you saying, G? What are you telling me? Where are we going? Cool, we're going straight to Stanley's. So we're going to jump in the van and we're heading straight over there and we'll catch you when we're there loading up the van. Right, guys, we've just turned up to Stanley's den. Yes, Gaffa. Yes, hello everybody. What's happening, Stanley? <laughs> hello, people. Yeah, okay, yeah? Yeah, fine, thank you. So, we've come to collect these working bad boys hard, here. Working hard. As always. It's gone 10 o'clock and the man's still working. <laughs> He's still reupholstering sofas. Here we go. This is what we've come for. <laughs> yeah. Looking absolutely amazing. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice job, Stanley. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. I like this uh, rockabilly style, you know. This is completely rockabilly style, American style. American Diner style? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. previously this was made out of plastic. Well, it still is underneath. But yeah. what Stanley's done is glued some foam, a 5 mil foam to the base, and yeah. then recovered it, it in the amazing, vinyl. Yeah. And this is one of our highest quality vinyls, guys. This is our Just Color vinyl. Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, Stanley, what's this here? This is real leather, and uh, yeah. I, I make these uh, panels. Yeah. And uh, after that, uh, I'm, I'm match the color exact. Uh, paint. Yes, yes, yes. It's so very you, interesting. So you paint this cream leather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah. match the yeah, color of, course, of the sofa. Course, so course. that's how that's how you go about repairing yeah, them, that's right? That's real leather. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Fair how enough. How many panels? Uh, the eleven uh, plus three, uh, uh, fifteen, fourteen. So panels. this is where all the damage was originally. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. So there Completely. you go, guys. So this is where the previous damage was a lot. For example, the settee that I just showed you where it was ripped here. Um, uh, all the time I make this, not first time, and look amazing. Also, this leather uh, is, is very good for dining. I, 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 I game in this leather, you know, for the, for, for the color I don't have. No leather, no money? No leather, no money. Uh, but my good friend, KBT boss, uh, I, I love this guy. This, <laughs> Yeah. You know, are you talking about me or no, about... father? <laughs> and, uh, you don't love me. And uh, yeah. giving all the don't love chance me. to make money. So how come you don't love me then? <laughs> huh? Come on. Yeah, yeah. Everything. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you still ain't told me you love me. <laughs> no, no. I'm still no. waiting for you to tell me you love me. Oh, man, don't love me. You know, wow. Why? We don't mind. I'm just out here embarrassing myself. But anyway, that's the process. But anyway, that's the process that this settee will go through to actually uh, look immaculate. To actually look immaculate once again. But uh, thank you, Stanley. You're welcome. Even though you don't love me. You're welcome. Thanks for showing us. So we shrink wrapped all three sets to make sure that it's secure in transit and it doesn't get damaged. Let's head home.
Good morning guys, it's just gone 9 o'clock and guess what? Greg's have had a gas leak. So I'm actually at Star City McDonald's. We've got 144 meters of acoustic foam going out to one of our clients. It's on a big pallet. So I'm just wondering, I don't think we'll be able to fit it in while it's on the pallet. So I'll probably have to manually put them in. What we'll have to do is restack it so they sit on top of each other and then tie it tight down. Because that way we'll have a lot more room to play with with the height. So, I think I need some reinforcements. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up the foam first, and then the sofas are gonna go in after, because he's apparently gonna drop the sofas off first. Hello everybody, it's my first day at KBT, and I'm pretty, like, I'm really enjoying it here. The, the team members are very supporting and friendly, and it's a good environment here. Like, I, 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 I'm enjoying a lot, yeah. Thank you. So if you've got any outdoor fabrics that need waterproofing or re-waterproofing, if you want to use a particular style of fabric on an outdoor cushion or outdoor settee, this is the chemical that you're going to need. So yeah, man, we've got everything here. We not only sell fabric, we sell dyes, we sell offer cutters, we sell waterproofing chemical, we sell cleaning equipment, we sell glues, we sell... Yeah, everything. We'll even sell people here if the price is right. Nadil, be careful. Because if that guy offers me good money for you, I'm going to sell you to him like a football player. Okay, okay, can you do this after two? Why take this out? He said you wanted your mask. He said you wanted the phone first. You're right, that's, that's going to go out first. Oh, no, You shouldn't have took them out, man. Come on then, let's get it done. I'll take four meters off. We've got an extra four meters which we need to cut off. So this is a soundproofing fabric. This is mostly used in studios and sound rooms. So this is available with a self adhesive backing so you can peel it back and stick it straight to the wall. Right, let's load this back up in the van. So first things first, we're going to Northampton to drop off the first 10 rolls. Then from there, we are going to Milton Keynes to drop off one roll. Then from there, we're going to Tower Hamlets to drop off one settee. From there, we're going to Walthamstow to drop off the red settees. Sorry, no, I've completely forgot about the soundproofing. I've got to get the invoice for this. The weather is amazing, so I'm really into my van driving job right now. We're going to unload the first job. So quite conveniently, this road actually leads us to Milton Keynes. We're on the A5. Right, guys, are you join us in London? There we go, we're on a side street in London somewhere, in the East End. Just dropped off the soundproofing. And boy was that a job. Anyway, on to the next job. And we're going to see which comes first. Either the Sunday Musk headquarters or... Or food. The food shop. But we're not eating from there though, because we're on a diet. Remember that, okay? No, no, no. Anyway, you see you guys in the bit. Just dropping off these red sulfurs. This gentleman here, just unwrapping them. But yeah, looking lovely. We finally sit down to get some food. Been on the road all day today. We managed to load up the other set of the red seats. They're now in the van. I've also been around to my uncle's. Picked up two three-seaters and two single-seaters and a bed frame which needs reupholstering. So about a full load which I'm taking back to the office. This is Nando's in Beckton. And we are off home.
Good morning guys, it's Friday, it's Jumma. Alhamdulillah, we made it to the end of the week. We just turned up to the office. Sajjah so made it before me today. Well, he makes it before me many times, but I just want to quickly show you the van. We bought back a full load yesterday. Let me just get this opened and show you guys. Oh God. So just behind here is the red chairs so we dropped off the rear upholstered chairs and we've picked up the other set to redo and these are my uncle's sofas and there is a bed in here somewhere as well i'm not sure what's in these black bags i think they're cushions so as you can see full load things are falling over as well but uh yeah i have told the guys that they're not to expect their furniture back for at least another three to four weeks as we have a massive backlog we need to catch up on but i'm gonna head on inside Catch up with Saj, see what I missed on yesterday, and then just get to some work, reply to some emails. Imam Mubarak to everyone. Just this 150 gram, so I have to write on day 150, so we don't need to make mistake. So just been busy. Rick is being blessed when I see someone today. <laughs> I keep smiling because I see Amir after one week because I missed him, and he's the one to make me like go to camera and don't be shy. So he's my teacher, yeah? So he built me up. He's the one who gave me shoulder name. <laughs> we jumped into the car with Manlight AK. We're just going to the Apple store. I did buy this online from the Apple website, but the new MacBook doesn't have a Thunderbolt port. It has a USB-C to Ethernet. So I need to return this and swap it for the correct one because I'm going to need that in the next couple of days. I haven't told them about next week yet. I'm going to tell them next week. So guys, I've managed to get the right one this time. And they've also taken my money. I bought a cable as well, three meter long one. And a plug, 19 pounds bro for a plug. Violation or what bro? That's a violation any armor. 19 pounds for a plug. I feel like returning it, bro. Come now, let's go. So that brings Friday at KBT to a close. But the day doesn't end there. We're just going to jump in the van. We're going to head over to Stanley's unit. We're going to unload the van, drop off the red seats, drop off the sofas, drop off the bed frame because we need the van over the weekend. And obviously, I can't leave it loaded. Right. Yes, Stanley. Yes, bro. What's happening? We're still working. Nah, here we go, Stanley. So this is the stuff that we bought back from London yesterday. All right. I have shown you guys already, but just have a quick look. So basically, both, Stanley, yeah. there's three jobs in there. One is the red seats, which yeah. you know about, obviously. There's this bed. And then there's two three-seaters and two single-seaters. Yes. But yeah, let's get to it then. Cam, you're not helping us, yeah? You're just going to hold the camera. Wait, leave, it, leave, it. Yo, leave this here. These are my uncle's sofas. Uncle's sofas, eh? Yeah, from London. He's seen you on YouTube, he said, I want Stanley to reupholster my sofas for me. As you know, we've taken on this job to reupholster some hospitality boxes in a very well-known football club, which I mentioned earlier in the week. But obviously, I can't tell you who. Hopefully, when the job's done, we can go and drop it off. See if we can get some content for you guys. I'm going to leave. Yeah, when you're done, Ken. So I'm just going to finish unloading the van, but I'm going to leave this week here. Thanks for watching as always guys. I hope you did enjoy it and I'll see you next week for another long week.